garage. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on the S10. We got some parts, boys. A couple boxes here that we're gonna open up and go through, show you what's inside. These boxes right here, basically, if you guys weren't watching the last video, I was kind of back and forth whether I was gonna stay with the blow through carburetor or go EFI. Now I'd already pretty much made my mind up. What's in these boxes is basically going to solidify my choice and show you guys what I decided. You guys might be able to guess already what's in these, but let's open them up and show you what's inside. What we got here is the piping kit. I guess I probably should open that one first, but anyways, now you guys kind of know what's in the other box, but we got a uh, two and a half, no, this is a three inch uh, piping kit with all the different bins and couplers and stuff like that. And so in this box, probably already guessed it, but, show you anyway. We have the intercooler. So this intercooler and piping kit came from the people at Max Speeding Rods. So I've been running their turbos for a little while now, about a year, and uh, have had great success with them. For as cheap of turbo as they are, they actually are very good turbos. And uh, they've always been super supportive of me and the channel and always wanted to help out wherever they can. So they, uh, they saw that I was working on the S10 and redoing a few things and reached out to me and, and asked if there was anything that they could help with. And I was like, hell yeah, you guys can uh, hook me up with an intercooler and piping kit, that'd be great. And they said, cool, no problem. So huge shout out to Max Speeding Rods. Not only are they helping me out, but they're gonna help you guys out too. So it's the same as before. If you use promo code Robby, that's R-O-B-B-Y at checkout, you'll save 10% on your order. And that applies to anything on their website. They've got turbos, they've got intercoolers, piping, all sorts of different stuff. Um, a lot of coilovers for import cars and uh, just a whole bunch of different stuff. So hit them up, check them out, use the discount code and save 10% off on your order, maxspeedingrods.com. All right, so now I'll give you kind of a little update on the truck and things that I've been doing. I've been out here, um, <clears throat> I've been out here a little bit here and there every night kind of tinkering on this thing and in my last video I had my carburetor for sale. Uh, someone did end up buying it, a guy by the name of Dylan in all the way in New York of all places so clear across the country uh, bought it so huge thanks to him. Uh, that allowed me to take that money and put it into the fuel system for this truck, the fuel injectors, fuel rails, stuff like that. So kind of give you guys an update on, on where we're at right now. We have the 4150 style throttle body on here. We have the fuel rails and fuel injectors installed. Uh, the fuel injectors, I went with the Snake Ear Performance 1500s and everything's plugged in, plumbed up, pretty much ready to go. I've got to still button up a few different loose ends. Um, I'm gonna put a 90 on this fuel pressure sensor so that it reaches a little bit easier. Um, but the fuel system is all flushed out. Everything's clean, ready to go. Basically the next step is trying to fit that intercooler. That's why I needed to, to open that up and, and get it in here because <clears throat> here in the next video or so, we're gonna be probably mounting that thing. And I don't know if the radiator is gonna be able to stay up here or not. Um, there's not a whole lot of room, about an inch right here between the fan and the water pump. Um, I could ditch that single fan and try and do two smaller ones on an angle and then that could, I could move that radiator back. Um, it would get a little bit tight for, well I guess these won't be here anymore. These will be going straight down and forward to the intercooler so, so that might work. There's a little bit so. 
no, those that should clear there too. So I might do that. I might ditch this single fan for a uh, for two smaller ones on an angle, or I mean offset, so that I can move this radiator back and try and get that intercooler up here. Um, if that doesn't work, then it's moving the radiator to the bed probably. But I think I think I can make that work. And then after that, um, I'm debating on moving these turbos a little bit because with this tube front end, so I'd cut the front frame rails off and it's just tube up front. Um, there's not a whole lot supporting it. And I thought about this when I was doing it, but like we usually do, I got in a hurry and just kind of finished it. And then we went to, I think it was duct tape drags, which I missed this year. I'm pissed off about. I'm not really pissed. Well, I'll just, we'll just say I'm disappointed. No, <laughs> I had to work that Saturday, so didn't get to go. But anyways, that's a different story. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about moving these turbos up because I actually have bars. Where are they? I have these bars to run out of the, these are like the forward support bars. So these could run through the firewall. Let's see if I can get this to stand up. So that would go through the firewall. I've already cut a hole. So run through the firewall, tie into the cage, and then support this front frame rail. The only problem is these turbos are right in the way. But I think if I just clock them up, they still fit under the hood, and I'd be able to run that bar uh, down there. Help support the front end. Um, it'll help with all the weight that we're gonna be adding to it because I'm gonna be adding the intercooler now. And also it would help support the front end a little bit more if I were to ever say hit the wall or something like that. Cause there's really nothing up here supporting that right now. So that's one idea that I kind of want to do other than getting it running. Um, as far as getting it running, I could start it right now uh, the way it is just to make sure that it runs and the engine's good and stuff like that. Um, and then kind of do the intercooler and stuff later but, or after. But um, yeah, as far as starting it goes, I think some fresh E85 and it's pretty much ready to start. Um, today's Thursday. So I think this weekend I'll probably work on it and make another video on that. Um, this is just kind of a quick little update. I needed to do kind of an open box there for the intercooler and pipe kit and then let you guys kind of just catch up. Um, I Like I said, I, I come out here like for an hour or two each night and I had filmed some of it. I'm not very good at this YouTube stuff and I, I'll get like these random clips each night of me out here working on it and then I'm not like creative uh, creative enough to <laughs> put them together in any kind of video so it's better if I'm out here on like a, a, a weekend where I'm out here all day kind of doing everything all at once so I don't know I'm still still trying to get used to this YouTube stuff um, it seems like every time I do it it's a little bit different the videos are a little bit different have a little bit different style helps with George uh, my buddy George has been here a lot lately he usually films while I'm working which is a huge help and uh, and then you guys have seen Nani too my other friend he's just he's the comedic relief he's <laughs> he's usually the one that uh, keeps us laughing and shit but but yeah guys that's that's kind of it that's just a quick little update I'm sure I'm forgetting something um, but I'm gonna get out here this weekend so stay tuned for uh, the next video where we start kind of messing with the intercooler and stuff or hell I might even be starting the s10 in the next video I'm not really sure yet I'm so scatterbrained right now <laughs> it's not funny but I'm gonna quit rambling I'm gonna get out of here and uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned like I said 
Uh, if you guys order from maxspeedingrods.com, use promo code Robbie at checkout, saves you 10% on your order. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the S10 and I'll see you later.